The BMI scale is 90% bogus. Okay, I made that percentage up. Kind of like the BMI scale does, actually. Hey friends, Lacey Green here for DNews. BMI stands for Body Mass Index, and it's a formula used to calculate your body fat percentage based on your weight and your height. It's used far and wide in doctor's offices, gyms, by insurance companies, and even schools across the US as a measure of health. And yet, from a scientific standpoint, the BMI is basically a giant steaming pile of crap. A new publication in the journal Science offers a comprehensive report on why the BMI should not be used as a measure of body fat or a person's health. Scientists knew something was up when they noticed that health outcomes weren't quite matching up with the person's BMI. Someone with a BMI of over 30 in the obese category might have more health problems or they might be even healthier than average. The toss of the coin isn't exactly reliable. So how could this be? Well, the researchers argue that the BMI scale is oversimplified. Health doesn't fit into neat universal categories differentiated by a decimal point. There are bodily differences based on sex, age, and race. The scale also disregards important factors in assessing someone's weight, like bone density, muscle mass, and the distribution of fat. Bone density varies by person, and as you may have heard from the fitness guru in your life, muscle weighs more than fat. So this puts plenty of healthy, fit people in the lower health classification than they really should be. And what about that fat distribution? distribution part. You might remember from my video about what really causes a beer belly, that the type of fat you're carrying is relevant when we're measuring a person's health. Squishy, subcutaneous fat that lies right under the skin isn't nearly as damaging as hard visceral fat, aka belly fat, that lies under the abdominal muscles and around your organs. So this is why sumo wrestlers, despite their large size, are still pretty healthy based on their rates of things like heart disease and diabetes. They have a lot of subcutaneous fat, but not a lot of visceral fat. And then there is the physiological absurdity of the formula itself. Weight divided by height squared equals healthy or unhealthy? What even is that? That ain't science, bro. For reals, actually. The BMI was invented in the 19th century by a Belgian mathematician, not a scientist, named Adolphe Cudelet. He needed to come up with a quick and easy formula to figure out how the government should allocate health funds to the general population. Then BAM! BMI scale. In this sense, the BMI might have its uses as a measure of average health for a large population, but it's usually used to measure an individual's health, which was never its intended purpose to begin with. I don't know, man. It's Kind of embarrassing. Dr. Ahima Rexford, the co-author of the publication, thinks that people use it because it's simple. And yet other more accurate measures of obesity and health are just as simple, like measuring someone's waist size. So what the heck, America? Leave me your thoughts on the BMI down below, and be sure to subscribe so you can catch more DNews updates.